Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Melissa Crafter and I'm back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this um, peekaboo tumbler. I did use Bright Tone from the Crystal Lab Company to glitter and seal this tumbler. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, please continue to do so. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. Also, if you have any video suggestions that you want me to make, um, also drop those down in the comments and don't forget that I am now uploading a video every Thursday So make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for that. Thank you As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using Bright Tone from the Crystal Lack Company to glitter and seal my tumbler. Bright Tone is an epoxy alternative and it is a water-based non-toxic top coat. Since it is non-toxic, um, you don't need any PPE to use it. Um, it's safe to use even indoors. You can purchase it at thecrystalaxstore.com or I'll also link it down below for you guys if you guys are interested in checking it out. Bright Tone does have a 30 day cure time, but after five to seven days, the cup is okay for light use, of course, following proper care instructions. If you are needing care instructions for cups that are sealed with Crystallax Bright Tone, I can go ahead and put them down in the video description, or if you message me on Instagram, my Instagram name is melissacrafter00, I can go ahead and send you my ready to print care instruction cards, um, if that's something that you're interested in. So to make this cup, I did use a stainless steel tumbler and then I did spray paint it using a Rust-Oleum spray paint. And the name of the spray paint that I used here is called Hunter Green. I'll go ahead and link everything that I used down in the video description, but I did use up spray paint and then I did allow it to off gas for 48 hours. I made sure to match my base coat color to the color of the glitter that I was going to be using um as much as possible as best as possible um this was the closest that i had um that matched my glitter it's important to try to match your base coat color with your glitter that way you will only need one coat of glitter and then like i mentioned i did allow it to off gas for 48 hours um, it's important also to allow your spray paint to off gas because when you use any solvent based products um since crystallac bright tone is water-based, um, you do want to allow it to off-gas and do its chemical reaction before you add any Bright Tone to your cup. So here I added a thin coat of Bright Tone. I put my Bright Tone in the condiment bottle and what I did was add just a thin coat of Bright Tone to go ahead and add my glitter. I am going to let my cup spin for just a little bit to allow my Bright Tone to self-level just a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my glitter. The glitter I'm going to be using is this green chunky mix and it is from Recollections from Michaels and the color is called Shamrock. Here I'm going to go in with my glitter and I'm just going to add it to my whole cup. I am adding it from a higher angle um, just to um, have my glitter fall flat as much as possible. And then I am going to go in with my finger and just kind of press down wherever I see um, that my glitter is not laying flat, just to kind of flatten it down a little bit. After doing this, I am going to allow my cup to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours before I continue on. Now that my cup has dried for four hours, I am going to go ahead and seal and flatten down my glitter using E6000 spray. As you can see, my glitter is laying down, um, mostly laying down flat on the cup, but I'm going to still go ahead and go in with the E6000 spray to kind of um, flatten it down a little bit more and also to seal my glitter. This helps with um, the overall coats that you are going to need to achieve a glossy cup. It helps flatten the glitter as much as possible that way you can achieve a glossier cup faster. I am going to go ahead and spray my cup with the E6000 and then I'm going to allow it to dry for 30 to 40 minutes. After the 30 to 40 minutes, I am going to go in um, with some parchment paper and roll my cup um, in the parchment paper.
I filmed this part where I roll my cup in parchment paper, but somehow I got deleted off my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a um, clip here from another video um, where I do this step of flattening down my glitter using the parchment paper, just so that you have an idea of how to do it. I do it in most of my, most of my videos, so you guys probably have seen me do it before, but I'll insert a clip here that way um, it's kind of together with this video. And that's kind of the process. And then I do um, do this twice. Um, after I flatten down my glitter with the parchment paper, I spray again. And then I allow my cup to, um, to dry for 30 to 40 minutes. And then I go ahead and using parchment paper, flatten down my glitter as much as I could. And then I spray one last time. After spraying that la one last time, I do allow my cup to dry for a couple hours just since I did spray the E6000 spray a couple times. Sometimes I even allow it to dry overnight just to be on the safe side. So now that my cup has completely dried, I'm going to go in with Bright Tone and begin coating my cup. This is my first coat of Bright Tone and I am going to continue coating until... Um, my cup is smooth enough for my decals. Every coat is added the same. You add just a thin coat of Bright Tone and allow your cup to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. I didn't film every coat that I gave my cup just because every coat is added the same and you guys probably don't want to see me doing the same thing over and over. Um, but I'm just going to continue um, coating my cup until my glitter is completely covered and my glitter is completely, um, my cup is completely smooth enough to where I can add my decals and continue on with the process of making this, this peekaboo tumbler. So here I'm adding my fifth coat of Bright Tone. I'm just going to continue coating my cup and covering my glitter up until my cup is smooth enough for my decals. You don't want to add any decals to your cup until your cup is completely smooth. If you do, then your um, decals will be bumpy from the glitter. You definitely don't want to add any decals to your cup until your cup is completely smooth. Um, here is my fifth coat of Bright Tone and my cup here is almost completely smooth. Um, but yeah, after this coat, I'm just going to allow my cup to spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. While my cup dries, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my designs. Here are my designs on Cricut Design Space. I'm going to be using removable vinyl and I'm going to be cutting it using my Cricut Explore Air 2. Here's my machine cutting out my designs. So now that my cup is completely smooth, it is ready for my designs. Here are my designs that I cut out and I did weed them out already. I'm going to just go ahead and um, add them to my cup and here I am using my cup holder my cup stand that I made um, to hold my cup. I'm going to add my designs to my cup um, using transfer tape and the color of the vinyl really doesn't matter since you are going to be removing it anyways after you spray paint on them. So it really doesn't matter as long as the vinyl is removable. You wanna make sure you are using removable vinyl that way um, you can easily remove it after you spray paint the cup. So here I am just adding these beautiful <laughs> leaves um, in random spots on my tumbler um, in no specific um, part of my tumbler, just adding them randomly. Remember in any spot that you add any vinyl to, that's the part of the glitter that's going to be showing when you go ahead and spray paint your cup. Anything that doesn't have a piece of vinyl on um, will be covered with spray paint. So just keep that in mind if you want a specific um, part of your cup to show, be sure to cover it with um, a piece of vinyl. Immediately after adding my designs, I'm going to go ahead and take my cup outside and I'm going to spray paint it using um, Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's just a white spray paint that I'm going to be adding here and I'm going to add it on my entire cup. I did spray paint my cup tw um, two times with spray paint. I added this first coat of spray paint, just a thin coat, and then I waited 20 minutes and added a second coat just to be sure that my cup was fully covered in the white spray paint. 
After my second coat of spray paint, I did wait another 20 minutes to just allow my spray paint to dry off a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with a candle and a fork and I am um, touching the, the, the candle flame with the fork and that creates um, some smoke that comes out of there. And doing that, I am going to go ahead and run my cup right on top of um, the candle to kind of transfer that smoke effect onto the cup. Here, I'm just kind of putting it on random spots, allowing the smoke effect to transfer onto my cup. It would help if you would have a bigger candle, it'll create more of a smoke effect. I only had this candle, um, so it was kind of taking a little bit longer to create that smoke um, to come out and transfer onto my cup. But it worked out um, at the end. Um, just kind of, like I said, putting it in random spots, um, allowing it the smoke effect to kind of transfer onto my cup, just in random spots. Once I was satisfied here with my smoke effect, I am going to go in with my weeding tool and start taking off um, my vinyl and exposing my glitter. After I go ahead and add my smoke effect and then I remove my vinyl to expose my glitter, I'm going to go ahead and seal that smoke effect using clear gloss. This is a Rust-Oleum spray paint, so I'm just going to go in with it and give it two coats of this Rust-Oleum spray paint just to go ahead and seal the smoke effect. If I were to go ahead and just add a bright tone on top of this, um, it would kind of come off as I am adding my bright tone. So I'm going to go ahead and seal it first before I add bright tone. I'm going to add two coats of this um, and I'm going to wait 20 minutes um, in between each coat of this Rust-Oleum spray paint. After adding um, my two coats of the Rust-Oleum spray paint, I'm going to allow my cup to gas off for 48 hours. Um, I did add the white spray paint and then this clear spray paint. So I am going to allow it to gas off for 48 hours um, before I continue coating my cup with Bright Tone. After allowing my cup to gas off for the 48 hours, I'm going to continue coating my cup with Bright Tone. Since my cup was already smooth when I added the designs, um, I just added a couple more coats of Bright Tone to just fully gloss up this cup. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel i am uploading a video every thursday and also i am asking you guys to please follow me on instagram my instagram name is melissa crafter 00 there we can um interact more with one another and get to know each other a little bit better so that's pretty much it as i said for this video thank you guys so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching thank you